Siemens NX Step, Import and Export. When 3D data from different CAD systems needs to be exchanged, the step exchange format is generally used. Learn how to open individual parts directly, and how to export complete folders. And how to import and export step data from assemblies with and without an assembly structure. And finally, how to add a missing assembly structure later. Open step file directly. With file open, you can open a single part in step format directly. You just need to select the step format here. The file will then be visible in the folder and can be selected. Under options you can select which object types should be imported. NX then performs three steps. NX imports the step file into PRT format, saves the new file, and opens the saved file. If no further settings are made, the file is saved in the same folder. Import step data. If you are working with a start part that has special settings, layers, reference sets, attributes, etc., you should choose a different method. First create a new part. Then start the translator under File, Import, Step 214. Select Import to Work Part. When you select the step file, the geometry will be imported into your start part and your settings will be retained. Export individual part in step format. Start the translator under File, Export, Step. With displayed part, you can convert the displayed part into step format. With existing part, you can also select other files. But let's export the displayed part. I recommend AP214 as the protocol. It is the successor to 203 and is the standard exchange format on the market. However, AP214 already has a successor, the 242 format, which offers more options to exporting attributes, material, and so on. However, this format has not yet established itself on the market. You should therefore ask the recipient of the data in advance whether they can already read the new format. Here you can select the folder and enter the file name. Under data to export, you can choose which data should be translated. You can also include or exclude specific layers here. If you do not specify anything here, all layers will be selected. The default settings are stored here, but you can save variational settings under Save To. After that, you can reapply the settings later under Load From. If you want to translate the complete part, select Entire Part. However, if you only want to translate selected objects, choose Selected Objects. Now you can select only this body for export, for example. Or you can also select this surface. Import Assembly An assembly can only be a single file in step format.
If the flatten assembly option is activated under options, NX also creates only one file with many bodies, but without an assembly structure. The assembly navigator only has one entry, but the part navigator lists all the bodies. If the flatten assembly option is not activated, an assembly with an assembly structure is created again. Individual files are then generated for all components. Of course, there must already have been an assembly in the other CAD system. And even if it was an assembly in the other CAD system, it must have been exported as such. More on this in the chapter Exporting Assemblies. However, there is a workaround if the step file only contains bodies. Start the new component command and select the screw, for example. This moves the body into the new component. Then the bracket follows. And finally the bush. Oh my god, these are actually all small bodies. The bodies of the screw and the bracket on the other side are deleted. The new components are now copied with pattern component. Finally, click on save and enter the file name for all new components. Export assembly without structure. The assembly does not need to be loaded, but this allows you to check that the load options are correct. Choose selected objects if you want to export the assembly without its structure. Then select the bodies you want to export. To quickly and easily select all bodies, select class selection. Open the type filter and select solid body. Then click select all. Select the storage location and start the export. Only one file will be created in the folder. When you re-import the step file, it will contain the selected objects, but no assembly structure. Regardless of whether the flatten assembly option is enabled or not. Export assembly with structure. Again, the assembly does not need to be loaded but this allows you to check whether the load options are correct. Now select the entire part setting under export. And under advanced, deactivate the export assembly as external references option. Finally, select a folder and enter a file name. After clicking OK, only a single step file is created. When the step file is imported again, it is converted back into an assembly in NX.
Next test. This time, the option export assembly as external references is activated and the basis option is selected. This creates a separate step file for each component of the assembly. The assembly must be selected for import into NX. This creates an assembly with an assembly structure in NX again. For complex assembly structures with many sub-assemblies and sub-sub-assemblies, NX recommends the nested setting. However, my tests on assemblies with two assembly levels also worked without any problems with the base option. A single step file is certainly better suited for sending data. Anyone who regularly exchanges data with customers should coordinate with them. I remember a case where two companies exchanged their CAD data via a neutral file format until it turned out that both companies were working with the same CAD system. So, talk to each other. Exporting a folder in step. Under Windows, Programs, Siemens you will also find a tool for importing and exporting step data. This translator is automatically installed by NX and works as a separate program. This small program also runs when NX is not started, but the license file is still required. Here you select the desired file, and here the destination folder. For example, all individual parts in this folder are to be exported in step format. Press the key combination Ctrl plus A to select all files and click on Open. Now you can specify the destination folder. Click on the flash to start exporting to step format. By the way, here you will find a free library of standard parts for NX. And that brings us to the end. Do you have any questions or requests, or do you just like the video? Write your comments below. And if you really like this tip, click on like and subscribe, because that's are the applause for the creator.